Oh, I don't know who's watching or not watching yet. I'll give you a few minutes to get in here. It was a night shift from, it wasn't that bad, but it was a couple extra hours. So I got stuck later than normal. And here I am with my whiskey book that I only looked at a little bit and my last unfiltered. And here I am. That's it. I have a bottle that I was going to open. I've got what it is. Is a Cavalin Single Malt Whiskey X Bourbon Oak. It was bottled in 2014. It says on the back label at 10.06. even tells you the time. There are some other numbers on these things, too, that tell us things. I'm not exactly sure what they are or where they are on here. Although, what I find interesting is that this is all in Taiwanese. But the other label from Fontana Beverages is stuck on here. So I wonder if this is a special bottle. It's from the King Car Distillery. They've got their own special little hologram label on it. Is that going to blur or unblur? If I hold it better. Does it not focus? It does, maybe. Loch Ness morning. Is it from, oh yeah, Friday for you, but I got to go to work tomorrow or today at 7 a.m. Open it up. Uh, Cavalin X Bourbon Barrel Bottle. I see some viewers are coming in here. Five so far, only Loch Ness commenting. I hope you're at work. Get this bottle open. Stripped, done. Come on. Oh, even ripped off the King Car Distillery. Chris, how you doing? That's crazy. Off, done your vacation there, Julia. Hello, Julia. Hope you're packed. Um, I'm going to call you later. I, I talked to the carpet cleaner. So he, he thought he was going to come by and do it today, I think. Anyway, we'll talk about that after. Go Habs. Opening up a bottle of whiskey. Were you paying attention? Who knows what bottle I'm opening? I know Loch Ness does. Pop this baby. Pop. Mm. Yeah. I wouldn't know what vacation is. Nice pour. Cavalin X Bourbon. You are smarter than the average Billy Goat, Chris. Of course, you probably heard me tell. 46%. Anybody hit? Mm, I like it. You know how Scott from Scott's Test Dummies is always asking about uh, um, what's your favorite expression of whiskey or genre? And there's sherry. Is it sherry or peat? <coughs> I'm going to have to start saying that mine is actually ex-virgin ex barrels. It's not the soloist version, no. I have an old bottle of Cavalin at home. So everybody's buying the ones in the fancy tubes now. The one I have is in a box before they started getting the little fancy leather looking tubes. I should probably find out what year that was made. Jason Fisk, how you doing there, boss? It's Friday. 
morning for you guys and it's Friday or Thursday afternoon or evening for me because I'm on night shifts and got started late today. Um, where did I buy it? Not in Saskatchewan. It's my only answer. Hmm. It's got a honey, honey nest to it. Oak, certainly you can get the bourbon off that for sure. Do you want to buy a bottle for me, Julia? Because I think I'm going to want a second one. Dr. Ragland. Hmm. Sweet right off. Yes, sweetie, it is. I bought it on my way out of Alberta with some other stuff in a box down by the side of the bed. Too expensive. This bottle was 60 bucks. I have a little thing with my... my uh, Receipts in it somewhere. That ain't it. But yeah, this, this is not expensive. A ride to the liquor store. Well, I'm pretty sure your son will give you a ride to the liquor store in his fancy car. Um, why not? Okay, maybe it was more than 60 bucks. Maybe it was 60 bucks off. I don't know. I got sand in my hair from work. Maybe. Oh, the, the sherry is quite expensive, man. They're they're very expensive. Don't get me wrong, but this one was on sale. And I think it's actually a clearance, so they're never bringing it in again. So for the Alberta boys, it's wine and beyond. Mm-mm. Mm Mm-hmm. This is good stuff. The Taiwanese are awesome. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Alberta. Uh, maybe it's more than $60. I don't remember where I left the receipt. Now you got me thinking here. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, good thing you made me look through that box. Why to be on McCallum Triple? Well, we're in the right spot here. Take a road trip, Chris. Yep. What are you talking about? You already live here, so. Kingston Long Girl. Okay. Uh, I'm so wrong. Sorry, man. It doesn't even tell me the sales price. It just shows that it was $130. Yep. That's Alberta price. $130. $200. No, I got it for $130. So 200 might be the regular price. I don't know. I forget what they have. Uh, I was looking at several things and I ended up grabbing this. I have, uh, I forget what other Cavalon I have. Anyway. Uh, I like it. Definitely, I love that you get off bourbons. The oak, you can really pick up the, the bourbon out of this. 120 bites. I, I don't think they can ship Canada wide legally. Crazy. So I'm going to have a little private call these guys that keep going on and on about where they're getting their stuff because I think in the long run, it's kind of bite them in the ass. If you're getting a good deal from somewhere, good. But at some point, 
You can't expect the government officials not to be listening, dodo brains, and they're going to start investigating it, right? I don't know. I got a thing about work. So a guy at work, he gets an extra hour by mistake. He gets an Boss, the boss says, oh, don't worry about it. Thank you. It's a bonus. And then the guy goes in the laundry and he starts bragging about it to everybody else. Like, look what I got. You didn't get it. It ends up cutting his own throat, man. And the boss is looking bad and everyone else is giving the boss a hard time. Like, where's my extra hour? It's There's a time. Yes, that's crazy. There is a great area. But a man a lot of court case in a bunch of beer he had brought back from another province. So I don't know the details on him, but I do know he lost. I'm going to think about ships. You are allowed to bring in so many of alcohol of not all, personal consumption. It's it, and it's that part I know about. Percent liquor consumption. If I paid one hundred twenty nine dollars for this, there would be another thirteen dollars on top. Nope. Pretty sure not legally. You can, but you 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 can get in trouble for crazy. I'm not I'm not joking. I'm, I'm not taking word for it anyway. We're, uh, just like riding motorbikes, guys will say, Oh, you that and so forth. You should tell the cops or or people here in Canada are watching things down in the US and so and so is you know, I'm gonna videotape this cop and your bras on some video. Well, guess what? <laughs> it doesn't fly in in every place, and and certain things that people think they've heard or know is a law. It is better to get a hold of the actual law and read it. And if you need a help interpreting it, then I would say get a lawyer to interpret it for you. Because you don't want a judge interpreting it for you in court. Ignorance is not a good excuse for breaking the law. So, uh, Dr. Raglan, you're sipping on coffee. Well, that's okay. You need a chiropractor or something awful. So, Dr. Raglan, if you're still there, um, as a chiropractor, if you get, if you adjust somebody, ever ha adjusted somebody and then they, you know, they're not quite sure, they think it feels okay, they go away, they, later on, they're like, you know what, I feel worse than I was when I went to the chiropractor. Well, I'm in that situation right now, I like my chiropractor. of my not get better. Especially when I'm sedentary for a period of time and I get up to go, it feels like someone's there's a just got a hole in my top of my hip buttock area and hold on to it until anyway. New cross province legislation is coming. I agree with you, man. I'm not saying that it or justified. Mike, I'm just saying that it's, it is what it is, you know. There are no borders. Can you get in trouble in the states too? Yeah, the states have even more. It, it, they may not enforce it, but they can if they want to. This is the law. I, I've driven across 
Alberta, BC years ago, and we got a case of the officer could have said something to us, but he, he, there was another law. We had unopened, but we had alcohol in the cab of the vehicle. So in this situation, it was because there was too many of us traveling in a vehicle. We had too much luggage. Uh, Move it into the trunk. Right? He could have taken it out and poured it on the ground right then and there if he wanted to. And I have seen cops that do that. Is it? Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? When you move, you'll have better reception and you'll be able to see me better. You take it easy. I'll call you after, okay? So, anyway, yes, it's a scam to line more pockets. I'm not, you're Mike, you're absolutely right. Hmm. Well, after all my night drams, this has got to be my favorite one. And, and right off the bat, like it's, I think it's, a, it's, it's good. It's only going to improve with oxidization, like a little bit to breathe. Um, good stuff. A tax is like you wouldn't believe. There's no way that this whiskey should be $129. It's a fair price comparing it to other ones, but it's only five years old, right? Exactly. We are scammed daily. There's not a damn thing we can do for it. Here, you, you know what you can do? You can leave the grid, which is very hard to do. Grow your own food, build your own house, make your own clothes. That part's optional, although some of us would prefer to see you dressed and naked and vice versa. Uh, and, and live, I think, the way we were supposed to live. Everybody just make your own stuff, man. Eat, eat the food you grew, not the food that somebody grew somewhere else. Here. Like in Canada here, I mean, a grocery store will get... Uh, You'll buy a case of peppers for 30 to $50 in the summertime. That peppers will go up to $3 a case in the wintertime. And we're getting it from Mexico. Right? So, and that's because of so many hands have to touch everything. How many different hands touched this before? Imagine it with the one making it in the way you wanted to make it. Maybe just identical or better. You made it. You can't tell me that the hamburger you made in your, on your grill doesn't taste better than one that was manhandled by some freaking kid in a McDonald's. Man on the land style. I think, well, there you go, Jason Fisk. Man, I'm not saying that I'm doing it. I live in a neighborhood where my house is. Once upon a time, everybody had a garden. Mark, how you doing, buddy? Hey, I'm just about to go to bed because I'm on a night shift. Um, and I'm rambling on here. And it's all that's crazy's fault. No, it's not. I ramble all the time. I'm drinking some cavalin. Why copy? What am I hooked to? My Wi Fi. It's all connected. It's a little weak, maybe. I don't know if I can improve it here. Usually, it hasn't been that bad. We'll see if the open the door doesn't have. Yeah, I don't know. Might not be Julia. I don't think it was that bad previously. Hopefully that improved it a bit. I was on hotel uh, Wi-Fi earlier, and it's uh, that is definitely no good. Uh, so <laughs> anyway, I'm rambling. Man on the land is a good thing to do, I think.
I don't think it's viable the way we have all these cities and stuff. But Izzy, he's meeting with the dummies tonight, so he's he's not. That's but that's not part of the trip in Wichita. Are they somewhere else? I hope he's having a good time. Hmm. Hmm. Not really oily. Thin little eggs. They're there. Slowly start. That's good stuff. It's clean. Very clean drink. Not, uh, doesn't overtake you. He'll be in Oklahoma. So they're coming to meet him. Swami is the man. I'm jealous. I think that I'm just going to uh, make a trip to Scotland. Pretty much think I've made my mind up. Does anybody ever have a morning dram? Anybody? You guess. There's no guessing, man. You should ask them. Maybe they're in that area on purpose. I can't remember. I think I heard him talking about something like that. Has anybody else tried the other ones? Concert Master? That one's cheaper. Concert Master is cheaper. Um, or anything from the King Car Food Industries, which is who owns this. Anybody? Going once, twice. I love the color they got written on this, guys. Cattle egret. Cattle egret. I got a buddy that loves the concert master too. I think it's because it's very light and it's 40% ABV. So for him, that's what he's used to. The Sherry Soloist is good. Was yours in uh, in the little leather? A solo was port unopened. I bet you Swami wants you to open it, though. Eh? Um, yeah. We're getting to that part where I'm ready to go to sleep. I hope I'm not still being choppy. Did it improve at all there, uh, Mike? But I would do more. I think I need to do more research on some of this. I wish I had my other Glen Karen glass. These ones here make the nose a little difficult. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. We were not fans. Oh, okay. Good. It's better. Hmm. This is 46%. Um, I think you could get away with even putting a drop of water in it. Um, so I have to come back for another adjustment. Sometimes tight muscles won't allow. I, that was my question, yeah. I don't have anything against my chiropractor. And I, had a, I could have met a guy here um, that comes to this little town once a week. Seemed like a decent chiropractor. Um, hopefully next Wednesday, the receptionist phones me for, then she phoned me and said, she, I have an appointment at three o'clock and it was 10 o'clock, which means I'd probably been sleeping for maybe 20 minutes, 10, 20, I think she called. That's why I chat with you guys. Santa Cruz and right on. I'm glad you made it in, buddy. Uh, are you enjoying your morning, sir? Are you having breakfast? I have a bottle of the Deanston Bourbon Finished Crisp, but I have not tried it yet. Um, although, you know what? I don't know. I, I'm, I, I'm tending to lean toward these virgin oats and bourbon finishes. Um, maybe it's just because I'm tired of the 
fanboy stuff about Pete and and uh, Sherry all the time. Dr. Raglan, am I too old to learn to be a chiropractor at the age of 50? Maybe that's my career change. You're not a fan of Virgin Oak right now. Okay, we'll just wait a few minutes and then see if you become a fan. America, what's up? Drinking Taiwanese whiskey, America, F ya. Oh, so sherried for Canada is a good one. Oh, oh the Canada, ver yeah, actually, I should get a hold of Jeremy Wheelock, Mr. Wheelock, and see if he still has any of those. It was not your liking. Wow. OJ for hire. Wow. What are you guys doing? All having lunch breaks or something at the same time? Never too old to learn anything. That's true. Sometimes you get too old to give a damn, though. I think I'm getting that way. Turn into a crotchety old man. Uh, is that cast strength, Cavill and Daniel? No, sir, it is not. It is 46%. It is the Cavill and X bourbon oak. And because you're here, I'm going to pour myself a wee little more of a dram. A wee little more. Right on. King Car Distillery. That's good stuff. That's good whiskey. You're both, everybody's meeting Scott and Swami. So I have an opportunity to go on a trip with the cake and cork. I mean, I pay for it. It's not like they're paying for it to go to Scotland. Now, I want to go. Julia's got her concussion. So I don't think she can come with me. And the night, one of the cool parts is that we're going to be able to, one, go to the SMWS bar. Two, and the big part of the trip is actually getting to hand pick a cask for a, a exclusive bottle and uh, yeah of course I don't know what I'm gonna do for work when I get back this company doesn't seem to have a lot of work after I don't want to go to Vegas man they they do make a soloist PD cast they do make something PD I don't know if it's a soloist what makes us something a soloist I need to do more homework, eh? Um, no, it wouldn't be solo. It would be a group. Everything's bought and paid for and so forth, right? Well, I don't know, Julia. And you said you were going away, so I thought I could have a private conversation with these gentlemen. No, I... Uh, are you able to go? I mean, in your condition, soulless, not soloist, yes. I might have to sell some whiskey to be able to afford it. Julia, we've already had this discussion. I'm not going to Vegas. There's nothing about Vegas. Well, I shouldn't say nothing. If I went down there somewhere, it would be... To go to a racetrack and ride a motorcycle on a racetrack or something it would certainly not be i don't gamble i don't do the machines I'm, there's nothing down there that i well <laughs> i want to do it with you yes anyway it's a short period of time to make the decision up it's in october no i've not been to vegas that's crazy, and I know what you're going to say next, but it's just not my gig, man. It's just not. 
So, whatever. Why would anybody want to go to Vegas? Can't. Maybe Julia will go to Vegas. Can I take you to Vegas, Julia? Yes, the Laguna Sea, Santa Cruzans. He knows, man. Although, I, I mean, I'd be the slowest guy on that racetrack. Especially for that one freaking chicane they have. Isn't it like down a hill? Yep. Okay, I know it's not about just gambling, but what else is it about doing? If you're not gambling, then you're spending your money on what? Because you're not going down there spending money. That place is about spending money. It's interesting that they have quite the silt on the bottom of this. I've been getting that in bottles. It's like a silt silt. I want to know what that is. It is, is it? Yeah, but have you done a lot of motorcycle, Chris? You guys are crazy, and I'm the one drinking whiskey at freaking 10 o'clock in the morning. Party, sightseeing, eating. Sightseeing what? It's Vegas. Mike, have you ever gone to the mountains in British Columbia? You know? You go in the mountains, you walk up to a blackberry, you smack them on the ass, and then you start running. Have you ever done that? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can get into this. No comment. Nine viewers and no comment. Yeah, nice, beautiful desert. Heller in Alberta. <laughs> if I wanted to go see things, I'd come down to Montreal, meet Viva Fry, and have him take me on a tour of Montreal. Hoover Dam, Schmammer Dam. I climb in and out of freaking engineered beautiful pieces of man-made stuff all my life the shopping at the house of real repute yeah don't think so mike the house of ill repute never been to one never want to go you set him straight santa Julia, tour of Montreal, you like construction sites. <laughs> no, I want to go to the old stuff where they're not done constructing it. <laughs> the historical things, you know? Isn't there any of that around there? Food? If you don't like it there, then why are you there? <laughs> Show... Smoke meat and shapier. Hey, we have a well, we used to have a shapier in downtown Edmonton. I don't know if they link themselves to uh shapier Montreal. I don't know. Have you guys been noticing this new trend where everyone's like talking about, oh no, you got to roll it, you want to roll it, you don't want to swirl it. You could do the anaconda. <laughs> It's silly to me. Fast, narrow legs. That's all I have to say. Vanilla. There's a honey in this. Shea Pare. No. Well, okay, we have Shea Pierre. Anyway. Shea Par. Doesn't matter. What is it? A strip joint? Julia, can I go to Montreal for some smoked meat and a strip joint? There, boys. Now you're in trouble. <laughs> I 
I don't know. I, 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 I probably need to hang out with somebody cool like Anthony Bourdain when he was still around in Montreal. Chez Paris. <laughs> It's a different type of oh okay. <laughs> nope, not going to either one of them. Leave that up to Mike and Swami. Oh, gentlemen's club. Gentlemen don't go there. Oh, sweetie, I'm not. I would, if I was a legend, would I be doing a night shift and asking your permission? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I can believe that one. Crazy. Anyway, yep. The night shift is kicking in, boys and girls. That is a nice uh, whiskey, though. It's a good night, Ram. Exactly. There are no gentlemen in those places. Jason, I don't know. Depend. They're in Oklahoma, though. If they're going to Oklahoma, maybe they won't have their gear with them to do anything. But Swami has his stuff, so they could go live with him. I just want to go home and go live with Julia. Maybe for a few minutes just to be able to say they did it, eh? I think, are they not bringing them him a bottle of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, which, oh, man, you know how freaking annoyed that is for me? I have a lot of Elijah Craig 12-year-old because that's my go-to bourbon. I would love to go live with Julia. She's a very, very busy woman right now, packing and getting ready to move on the weekend. So, yeah, well, I would like him to send me a sample. And he can send me all my sample bottles back. Hint, hint. <laughs> this picture behind me is one of my favorite pictures and it reminds me of something maybe that um, Julia would take I don't have a bottle of the Elijah Craig barrel proof no I have a 23 year old and I have a whole bunch of Elijah Craig 9 and I have one bottle of their new stuff so I can compare it to the 12. Whole bunch of unnecessary bottles, man. If I go, it'll it's October 9th to the 19th, I think, or uh, I forget now. It slightly interferes with being able to go to Wichita with Julia to meet the Scotch test dummy. All right, Mark, go straight to work. Enjoy. You'll swap me ECP for a Mac 10. Really? We'll talk, Jason. You are here, are you not? I, I agree with you, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll send you a DM there on, uh, what do you call that? IG. Not a problem. <laughs> Don't be getting him away. That's crazy. <laughs> 
Uh, you guys are a bunch of great guys. I'll tell you something. That's one. If I ever say I miss anything, and I'm still trying to be in the chats all the time, but they are time consuming, all these guys and all the shows, um, is being in the chats. You want to do that, Julia? I'll send you a message there, Jason. You'll mow my lawn. I already have somebody that mows my lawn. <laughs> he doesn't even care about whiskey. Yep. God, I got to stop drinking whiskey here for a while. Get myself back into shape. And then on. Or sell my place and buy a place with no lawn. Why do we grow weeds that we have to cut down all the time? Why is that? Oh, I know why. Because we decided all to live in the city like a bunch of freaking parasitic ants. Maybe I've been in farmland for too long out here talking silly. From Scotland, all your answers. Are, oh, we could, but then I got to fly back from, and it ain't cheap. I tried to, I looked up flights to fly to Kansas. Sure, donkulous. I don't have a cast strength Mac. And if I did, I don't think I'd trade it for an Elijah Craig barrel proof. Just thinking out loud. I don't have a cat. There's no such thing as a 10 year old cast strength Mac. Yeah, <laughs> Jason's talking now. Yeah. Wheelers, dealers. All right, gentlemen. I got to give my Julia a phone call and uh, get some sleep. 10 o'clock. With five hours sleep, I guess I can do another 10 or 12 hours of work. Isn't it amazing how we abuse each other? Or ourselves, I mean. Jason, I'll still talk to you. Everybody, take care. I got to give you a call, too. That's crazy. Night shift throw it throws everything off, right? Your state head, oh, yeah, that would be awesome, stateside. Everything's so expensive, though, man, down there. I will, buddy. Thank you very much, Santa Cruz. You have a good weekend, too, buddy. Thank you very much. Later, OJ. Salancha.